what's up you guys it's your girl rosie bright eyes here with another video this is highly requested from those of you who are subscribed to my channel um so i'm gonna try and do more i know i don't upload as more but i've been uploading more often so i'm glad to see you guys rocking with me still and i'm gonna broaden my topics you know i mainly do um like relationship and um some makeup videos but um, y'all been requesting topics for me to talk about. So that's what I'm going to do today. One of the topics is feminine hygiene and how to keep your area nice and intact. Um, so I don't know if I can say certain words. So I'm just going to refer to her as your cat. And y'all know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to just get right into it. If you're not already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. So that every time I upload, you will get notified. So, okay. First thing for, and disclaimer, I am not a healthcare professional. I am not a professional at all about this topic. This is just what works for me and I'm helping y'all. Um, so first, oh, and I do have, I jotted down some notes just in case I forget anything though. But first thing first, um, a lot of women, they like to use like the scented bath and body works, Victoria's Secret, scented smell good, soaps and body washes. Um, yeah, that is good for any part of your body except down there. Um, it's a very sensitive area. You got to remember that it's open. Um, it's very sensitive. You got to be careful about what you put around that area. Um, so do not use scented soaps and body wash um, down there because those tend to irritate down there. And um, basically all you need is water because soap period like I don't even I used to but I mean you shouldn't have to do too much to keep it smell like that if you got a lot more going on then you need to go see a doctor but um water typically works fine um also when you're on your period, you want to make sure that you're changing your pad or your tampon frequently and not leaving it in too long. Um, me personally, well, y'all need to know that, but yeah, just make sure <laughs> you're changing your pads and your tampons frequently and not leaving it on too long or leaving it in too long because that can create a foul odor. And I'm pretty sure that um, when you leave a tampon in too long, I know it's something with toxemia. I don't know the politics about it but you know it's not good so make sure you're changing your pad and your tampon regularly um, also when you're on your cycle use um feminine wipes to clean around that area because you tend to smell a little more if it's that time of the month so you just want to make sure you're keeping it fresh and um carry like little feminine wipes um I would go get mine, but I don't feel like going in there to get it. But um, if you want to know what I'm referring to, just comment below and I'll let you know. I'll do a video on um, the products that I use. Um, also, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. After you have intercourse with the guy, um, you want to make sure that you're using the bathroom. Every time you have sex, you want to make sure that you go and use the bathroom afterwards because if you don't that can create um bacteria infections and you just want to make sure that um especially oh another thing stop letting these niggas just come in you um <laughs> i don't know how else to put it just make sure you're not just letting any and everybody come in you because that can throw off your ph balance and create all types of bacteria girl after you do it go in that bathroom and go use the bathroom get all that out of you um and y'all gotta excuse my camera angle I'm trying to get my setup right so it's kind of like angled down it's kind of making me look like a little like i got a big head but um anyway back on subject so yeah and we're talking about ph balance now so um when your ph is thrown off you develop bacteria, which causes bacteria infections, bacteria vaginosis. Um, that's one of the most common um, infections that females get, um, BV is what it's known as. And that comes from using scented soaps, having sex, um, letting them nut in you, having sex, not using the bathroom afterwards. Um, 
wearing too tight clothing that can cause yeast infections, um, not properly washing. Um, also, when you douche, that's another thing. I don't douche because the that area is a self-cleaning tool. Like it's a self-cleaning organ. It, it it cleans itself. You don't need to douche. Um, douching actually throws off your um, pH balance, and um, it also get rid of the good and the bad things um, that you need. So um, the vagina is a self-cleaning area, and it's not something you gotta put whatever summer's eve and all that is up in you to clean it it's it, you don't have to do that it cleans itself um also so yeah no summer's eve and all those feminine hygiene washes that's gonna throw your ph all the way off um also um another thing you gotta be mindful about what you eat what you put into your body um i noticed that when i started eating more I don't eat healthy <laughs> and I don't eat all the way clean. I'm not a vegan or nothing like that. I just started watching what I eat more because I'm trying to lose this gut. As y'all can see, I got a gut. Um, so I got videos on that as well. But um, yeah, so I noticed that when I started eating more healthier-ish, kind of, um, I noticed a difference in my menstrual cycle and, you know, how my body feel overall and so you got to be mindful about what you put into your body um eating fruits vegetables and drinking a lot of water should cut back on some odor uh, also for your menstrual cycle i noticed that it made mine less painful um and lighter so um, if you're eating a bunch of um fried chicken pork chops chitlins all this kind of crazy stuff you just putting in your body putting in your body those odors like come out of your pores and out of there so you got to be mindful if you're eating a lot of pineapples watermelon apples stuff like that then that's gonna keep you smelling and hopefully tasting <laughs> better so um <clears throat> yeah so just be mindful about what you put into your body and um that's basically it um uh, besides washing when you actually washing like you want to make sure how do I put this? Um, like, okay, you, you got your lips. You got the part on the outside of your lips. You want to make sure you're actually getting into the creases, washing that with water, not all that extra smell good stuff. Just water. Um, if you want to use soap, you can use, um, I hear Dove's sensitive soap works good for some people. I don't know. I don't use Dove. Um, but you want to wash on the outside in the cracks like where your legs meet your lips you want to get in there also you want to spread your lips open and make sure you wipe it in there this is what you want to do with just water because i don't know about all the soaps and all that stuff you might not want to do that um but yeah just make sure you're thoroughly washing it. and when you go to the bathroom make sure you're wiping front to back not do not ever wipe back to front even when you wash it in the bathtub front to back um so yeah just think of it like you shit back there so you don't want to be wiping shit into an open area you know you know you get it um so yeah um that's basically it um i just wanted to come on here and give y'all a few pointers if you still have questions or you have videos that you want me to do um comment below um yeah, so I hope this video helped you guys, and I will be back with another video. I'll try to upload videos at least once a week. Um, if y'all need it more than that, then I'll try and do that. But you got to be subscribed. You got to turn the notifications on, like the video, share the video, because I do love you guys, and I am trying to make this something that I can do for you guys more often. So I need your interaction so that we can continue this. And... So, oh, and for y'all who've been inboxing me on Instagram, yes, my personal Instagram is at Rosie underscore Bright Eyes. That's B-R-I-T-E-Y-E-Z. Um, I do follow back. I've had a lot of y'all inbox me questions about the no contact thing. So I will be doing a video on um, relationships coming up. I think I'm going to go ahead and record it so I can upload it for y'all. But I do respond to everybody. So just let me know that you found me on YouTube and I will get back to y'all. I will follow back. I respond to everyone. Um, so 
any of my subscribers that has have ever hit me up and I've responded, just let them know, you know, your girl respond. Go ahead and vouch for your girl. But um, thank you guys for watching. I'm trying not to make this too long and I will see you guys in the next video.